talking with uh, former Amory and Mississippi State star Mitch Moreland, who's in Memphis uh, with the Oklahoma City Red Hawks. And uh, big night tonight for Mitch. He had three, drove in all the teams, three R, three runs there, man, with three RBIs. Just kind of talk about the game tonight. You kind of got off to a rough start here, you said. And did this kind of get you off the snide a little bit? You think? Uh, you know, hopefully it was. It was a fun night, definitely. I've, I've needed kind of a, a pick me up game like that, and it helps to to help your team out, you know, and produce a little bit. Because, like you said, I've been struggling and. You know, kind of looking for some answers here and there and, and doing some different stuff. And, uh, you know, hopefully I found something that, that'll work and stick with it, you know. And hitting coach and the players have all, you know, really tried to help me out and support me along the way. And, you know, we've been winning, so that's the important thing, you know. This will come around, it's, it's still early, and, you know, just keep trying to play some ball. You're not going to be one to admit, but, but I can say you hadn't struggled very much, man. I mean, you, you climbed up the ranks pretty, pretty quick. Talk about the climb it's been from from college ball to AAA this fast. Did you expect it to be this fast? And kind of what's the key to making such a fast climb? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I didn't expect anything. You know, I just went in and told myself if I kept playing and played hard and the way I knew how, that, uh, you know, everything would take care of itself. And I uh, just tried to keep everything simple and and uh, hope it would work out. And so far it has. You know, I'm, I'm happy to be here. And I'm like I said, I'm with a good group. and. You know, get to come a little bit closer to home again, and, and that's that's fun too. Yeah, it's a family here the last couple of days. Talk about playing in front of them. How fun is that when you don't get to see them as much as you used to? Well, it's, it's definitely a uh, good time, you know, and get to see some family and friends and, and have their support there at the game. And, you know, all, that's always a help, you know, whether you're close to home or not. And being close to home and getting to see them and, and as many that came out and supported me, it was, it was great to have them there. And I just I enjoyed the whole week. What's the biggest adjustment to AAA? Is it the pitching? Is it just, uh, just kind of, in your words, what's the biggest thing to adjust to? Well, you know, there's a lot of guys that are older and, and they're veterans and they've, they've been up and down and they've kind of learned the system and they know how it works and, you know, the runners in scoring position, they're going to pitch you different. And, I mean, different situations are going to uh, pitch you different ways. And and it's been uh, it's been a learning curve for me. You know, I've, I've struggled with uh, some off-speed stuff and even fastballs, you know, just just kind of get to guessing and putting a lot of pressure on myself, you know. And, and uh, if I can just, like I said, try to go back to my, my same old ways and keep it simple, you know, hopefully I I can uh, get back going. But you know, right now it's been uh, it's been it's been good, you know. I've had some support, like I said, from from everybody around me. So it's still early, and I'm looking forward to the season. Just keeping it simple, the key, and tonight you. You had a, a couple big RBIs with the game time and the two go-ahead, but even one you hit almost the wall on the track out there. Are you keeping it simple for play? Is that kind of what your mindset is? Well, right now, you know, trying to shorten things up and uh, tell myself not to try to overdo anything, not to, uh, you know, just, just go up there and, and play ball and just try to make good solid contact every time. You know, I feel like I feel like I've heard that a thousand times since I was a little boy with my dad in the living room. But, uh, you know, that's, that's really the, the way it is, you know, just go up there and and put all else aside, mechanics and everything, and try to compete, and that's what I'm trying to do. Have you got any good advice from guys who have been there? You got Jared here, South Lamakia. Any guys like that you've taken advice from or something? Oh, kind definitely. Of you know, I got a chance to go uh, the first first big league camp this year, and I was around a lot of guys that have been there and been there for a long time, you know, a lot of real good hitters. And, you know, I picked their brain all spring and tried to take in this and that, what I thought would help. And, you know, some stuff they say works for them, but it might not work for you. So you just kind of – Take in what you can and uh, remember the other stuff because you know that it doesn't work. So, I mean, it, it's, it's been a lot of fun. Starstruck on the occasion, a lot of young guys get up and see guys like Vladimir Guerrero and people like that. Have you caught yourself kind of looking every now and then? Uh, definitely. You know, I mean, you uh, some of those names out there, Hamilton and what he's been through, and you know, his great story coming back, and Vladdy, you know, is like 13 or 14 years, just I mean, 300, 320 hitter, you know, in his career, just guys that have you know been there and, and experienced it and you know you've looked up to it since you were a kid you know it's 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 pretty neat you know seeing those guys and, and getting to talk to them and interact with them and you know like I said it's just been a lot of fun learning from them and, and just watching them you know last question what's the biggest surprise maybe that you you've seen in the minor leagues maybe even class A ball now anything surprised you about the I guess just the uh, lifestyle um, not necessarily, kind of like what we, what we were talking about earlier, you know, there's a lot of games. You you have to uh, really focus your off season on uh, getting ready to play, you know, and coming in day in, day out and being ready to play, you know. And that's been that's been fun, you know, you can, you can 
kind of pick yourself up once you uh, you know you have to play every day, you know, and, and uh, just kind of keep it going from there. But yeah, it's that's probably the most different, you know, the biggest difference that I've seen is you know you're you're always playing. You can look forward to it, you know. Say you do have a bad night, well, you play again tomorrow night. So. We were talking about Amory High School uh, a while back. Of course, it hadn't been that long since you were there. Any advice for those guys are having a good season? Any advice for them as they go on? Uh, just, just keep doing what you're doing, fellas. I know y'all uh, been playing hard and playing good. And Coach Williams keeps me uh, up to date. Y'all keep hitting it, keep pitching it, play a little D there. Y'all be fine. <laughs>